everyone. Welcome to Good Taste. I'm Tangie Patton. How about a vacation to the south of France? Well, you can take one without ever leaving San Antonio. There's an incredible dinner I want to tell you about here in San Antonio at one of our city's finest restaurants, the Fig Tree on the Riverwalk. A taste of Provence, four incredible courses, all paired with a different rosé wine. It's an incredibly special evening. I've got a preview. Hi everyone, you are in for an incredible summer treat. We are at the beautiful Fig Tree Restaurant on the Riverwalk in San Antonio. One of the very first fine dining restaurants on the Riverwalk. Continues with an incredible reputation to this very day. I'm with the chef, Chef Bergeron, and we're preparing the most beautiful, delicate dish I think you'll find anywhere in the city. Yes, it's a, a wonderful traditional Provence item that's uh, squ stuffed squash blossoms, very delicious. And they are beautiful. They're flown in daily from California. They are just spectacular. And I should say, it's part of the rosé menu. You all are doing a special menu throughout August. We are. We're doing a, a tasting of Provence. It's paired with Provence wines and uh, featuring all ingredients from Provence. And it's a, del a delicious little it's treat. It's an incredible meal. I've had it. It's wonderful. Okay, so what do we do to get started? Well, first, I'm going to make the crab mix. Uh -huh. And I start with a pound of jumbo lump crab. I'm going to put that in the bowl. And if we want to be adventurous at home, you can buy the, the cans, the process. Absolutely. It's pasteurized, I should say. Pasteurized product from Florida. It's delicious. And it's I'm going to chop a little green scallion here. That's a fast knife. Thank you. Here's the practice. <laughs> yeah. We're going to just take the outside of the tomato off and we're going to small dice it so that it's real pretty in the mix. Oh, I see. There we go. Now we take one egg. To hold it together? Yep, just to bind it a little bit so that when we fry it up, they stay, stays nice, moist consistency. And I'm going to finish this with some fresh cracked pepper and a little bit of fleur de sel. And that's a special salt you're using, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's uh, harvested in Brittany Coast in France. It's uh, cooked in these iron pans. It's absolutely delicious. And take some of this crab meat, put it right inside. Those are so beautiful, aren't they? Mm. So delicate. And then we fold them over. So now we're going to do the tomato coulis, which is going to be the sauce okay. for the squash blossom. And basically you just take a tomato, score the top, take out the core. That's a neat little tool. Yeah, my little tomato shark. It tears like right through that. the little cores on tomato, especially if you're doing a whole case. It well, comes yeah. in very handy. <laughs> Time saving. So drop them in the boiling water. It just okay. takes about 30 seconds. We're going to put together our tempura batter. Always use ice cold soda. Now this is a fun little secret if you like to do tempura. This is what makes it so light, isn't it? It is, and if, especially if you do this right before we fry the little squash blossoms, the little bubbles in the soda can make the tempura extremely light. I'm looking forward to trying that one. So we're just going to pour this into our, our tempura batter here. And what's in your batter? Just flour and... Tempura batter is a mixture of rice uh, flour and, and flour and uh, a little bit of baking soda. Now we're going to pull our tomatoes, drop them in the ice water, And then we can pull them out and just pull the skins right off the cut easy that comes oh, out. Oh, look at that. It doesn't take much. We just want to blend them up and then we're going to strain the seeds out. Florida cell, this is my favorite right here. And that's the sauce. That's it. So we have the sauce already ready here. Okay. We're going to take our little crab blossoms, drop them in the tempura. and then lay it in the fryer. And then you may want to take a little batter and go over the top to make some feathering, we call it. Ah. Now it's time to flip our squash blossom over. When you see it brown on the edges there. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, when the squash blossom's done, we want to take them out and pat them on something absorbent so that we get all that oil off. So drain it. And it'll it. be nice and light. Just kind of press down lightly on the squash blossom and okay. it'll make most of the oil come out onto there. Put a little garnish on it. Voila, it is spectacular. And again, this is just part of an incredible special menu of Provence going on right now at the fig tree. And I would guess you have a great little rosé you want to pair that with. That is the match made in heaven right there. Beautiful. All right, Chef, thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. 
Again, it's a taste of Provence. It's at the fig tree on the Riverwalk. You do need reservations. An incredible, incredible evening. And the rosé wines are a lot of fun. If you haven't tried many rosé wines, Get out there and buy some rosé wines and try them. These are nothing like white Zinfandels. They're dry, crisp, a little bit of fruit. I think you'll like them. And it's a great summer wine. It pairs with a lot of different foods. Now, before you leave the site, also be sure and check out Brasserie Pavil's video right there. If you haven't done brunch at Brasserie Pavil, you're missing an incredible experience. They do it every Saturday and Sunday, starting about 10.30, 11 o'clock. It goes all day long amazing, amazing food. To get a preview of what they've got, check out their video. Also, before you leave the site, sign up for my newsletter. It's that red box right there on your right. Exclusive invitations to our special events when you're on that list. Till next time, everyone. Enjoy.